This PSU's part of VQuiet's Straight Power 12 series lineup, and it basically brings a modern refresh to the Straight Power series, and yes, that means it's fully ATX 3.0 compliant and supports PCIe 5.0. These new models upped the efficiency to Platinum from Gold on Straight Power 11, and they expanded the lineup to include units from 750 all the way up to 1500 watts. So if you're a system builder looking for a power supply from Be Quiet that delivers high wattage, you now have another option other than Dark Power. And that's a welcome change because as awesome as Dark Power is, it's kind of out of the budget for some people. All right, let's get this thing open and see what we're dealing with. So this is the 850 watt model, and there's the factory seal right there. Much appreciated, be quiet. Other manufacturers take note. Seal your products always, especially high-end stuff like this. So on top here, we have our user's manual and it's good for all the units in the series. So it's just the same manual. It's multilingual, 750, all the way up to 1500 watts. This thing's got you covered. It's gonna have lots of information in there. Now, one of the things I always tell people to pay attention to is the diagram for how to set up the 600 watt PCIe 5.0 connector because you don't want those things to be installed incorrectly because of the amount of power that's running through them. Everybody's heard stories at the beginning when that connector launched, not necessarily from Be Quiet, but just in general, like some adapters and things that were out there, they were actually melting if they weren't installed properly. So pay attention to that diagram and make sure you get this thing installed properly. Basically what this is saying is the distance between the connector and any bend should not be less than 40 millimeters and also don't bend it horizontally. Let's get the power supply out. Sealed in some bubble wrap with some tape there. I'm just gonna put the rest of this thing aside for now so we can take a look at that. It's all black with a nice open grill over the fan. This fan, by the way, is a bit of a weird size at 135 millimeters. It's a Silent Wings fan and it's been custom designed for use in power supplies. It maxes out at 2100 RPM and it sits inside this funnel shaped air inlet that's supposed to help improve air circulation throughout the unit. The sound level specs look really good with the output noise under 8 decibels up to 50% load and topping out just over 22 decibels at 100%. Numbers like that suggest noise really shouldn't be an issue with this one. Around back we have the main power input plug, the on off toggle switch and a big cluster of ventilation holes to get that hot air from inside the unit out the back and keeping things cool. Plus obviously you have your mounting holes for where you're going to connect this thing to your case. Over on the opposite side, we have all our modular connections here. So this one is the ATX motherboard power. It's split over two connections. There's our P8 for CPU power. There's three connectors here to power drives. And this one here is the 600 watt PCIe 5.0 connector for crazy GPUs. And there's two more PCIe connectors here. I should also mention that if you go up to the 1200 and 1500 watt models, it actually includes two of those 600 watt connectors. So if you're looking at a multi GPU setup for your system for something high end like video production or 3D rendering or something like that, those higher wattage models should have you covered. Power specs are shown on the side panel over here. It's a single rail unit. So rather than splitting things up over separate rails, we have one big one feeding everything. And it's equipped to handle giant power excursions. So for example, if your GPU power demand spikes up for a brief moment, the unit can handle it up to double its rated power. And that can help keep things stable under heavy loads. Now let's bring the box back up here and see all the cables and whatever else came with this thing. So we've got some zip ties here to help with cable management and there's your mounting hardware to get it attached to the back of your case. This is a standard 18 gauge power cable, connects to the wall and then into the back of the unit for your main power feed. All right, so this first bundle of cables, let's just open this up, see what we got. I'm assuming the motherboard power is here somewhere. No. Okay, let's open this one first. So I wanna look at the motherboard power. There it is there. So there's the ATX main power connector. That plugs into your motherboard there, that end, and then this one here goes into the actual modular connector on the power supply. All the cables in here are sleeved. They're all black, so they should kind of go with everything. And you know what? Pretty flexible, not too stiff. Should make it pretty easy to get your cables routed, even in a tight space or a case that doesn't have a lot of cable cutouts or something like that. So these are our two CPU power cables. There's the modular connectors for plugging into the power supply. And then over here, we've got an eight pin CPU power connector 
and also another eight pin, but it can be split into two four. So if your motherboard has a combination of an eight plus a four, that guy there's got you covered. These ones are your VGA cables for your graphics cards. We got our modular connectors here for the power supply. We'll take a quick look at that. That's what those look like. And then on this end, these are broken up into six plus two pin for four eight pin connectors if you connect them that way. Or obviously you can just leave them as six depending on the configuration of your GPU. Here's our 600 watt PCIe 5.0 connector. Take a look at that guy. 600 watts through that little cable. Keeps everything looking nice and neat and delivers all the power you need for ridiculously high-end GPUs like the RTX 4090 and I'm sure whatever generation is to come next. This guy here is a basic drive cable. What do we got here? One, two, three, four SATA power connections right there on that one. Another one, is it the same? Let's see, one, two, three. So this one's got three SATA power connectors on it. The other one had four. And finally, the last cable in here, what do we got? There's our drive power connector that goes to the power supply. And then it looks like we've got, what's this? One, two, Molex. So there's your like old school Molex connectors if you've got anything that runs those. And this one also has two more SATA power connectors as well. And there's only two little things left in the box here. These are just some Velcro cable ties. So those come with the power supply. You can use them to strap your cables to the inside of your case if you have tie down points or if you're just storing the power supply, it's a good way to keep all your cables neat and tied together so they don't end up all over the place in the box. So even though this isn't the top tier dark power series, it still features some of the same high end parts and technology. It's got high quality Japanese capacitors and full bridge LLC, which brings high efficiency solid voltage regulation, and lower ripple noise, all of which helps improve stability and reliability. The bottom line is that the Straight Power 12 series is aimed at high-end system builders that don't want or need the crazy features that the Dark Power series offers, or, you know, system builders that are at least somewhat budget conscious. I've got some purchasing links for you down in the description. Check that stuff out for the latest up-to-date pricing on these units, and get subscribed for more content, and we'll see you soon.